Hey everybody, this is just a little uh, look at my 17-foot uh, Casita travel trailer. Um, just got up here to uh, beautiful Glendo State Park in Wyoming. It's Memorial Day weekend, so a lot of people here, but that's fine. Hoping to do some mountain biking, some hiking, and you know, just rest in the nice Casita camper and I'm done. But while I'm waiting for my friends, I figured I'd make a quick little video show you guys my little egg so yeah here it is this is a 2006 model um, I bought it used in 2014 uh, my late father he was really into casitas um, he let me borrow his brand new one in 2013 or 14 I took it up to this location Glendo State Park and realized I needed to have one um, perfect size um, easily towable this is my Tacoma that I pull it with um, so yeah, um, after I took his out a few months later, I went out on Craigslist and bought my own. Um, maybe I'll post some pictures before and after, but it wasn't in rough shape. It just been sitting for a while. I believe the gentleman who owned it before me passed away and his daughter didn't have a use for it. So went down to Morrison, Colorado, picked it up. But since then I've done quite a few upgrades to it. Um, <coughs> I think you can probably tell the most obvious upgrade would be the uh, the, the stance of the uh, casita, the height. Um, I put a three-inch lift kit on here, which is from Dexter, PerfectCasita.com, I think sells them. I'll get down here and show you guys. But basically, they just unbolt the axle, um, put a spacer between there, and bolt it back together. Very simple. I think it's a three inch lift, so this makes it approximately one inch taller than the factory um, high lift option. But while I was there, I had um, the suspension added on there too, because, um, you know, after, after installing this, it makes for a really nice sort of a ride now. When I, when I tow it, um, I don't feel it as much back there. And... If there's you know there's less shock going through the fiberglass which hopefully means um, you know less rivets I have to repair. There's the view from the other side, so it is a substantial um, lift, and that is very nice for pulling into more remote campsites. And I also went from 14-inch wheels to 15-inch wheels and put some nice uh, shiny ones on there too to give it kind of a, a cool look. Um, and you can also see that I put a little bit beefier tire on there. So another thing I should talk about too with the lift is that you will take a bit of a MPG hit um, if you put a lift on, on because you know that's more drag. Um, it's, it's sticking three inches higher in the air and at 60, 70 miles an hour that's a lot of extra drag. So yeah, another thing I did was I tinted the windows, added that really cool sticker right there. Um, tinted windows are nice, it gives it kind of a cooler, sleeker, more modern look. Um, maybe it keeps a little less sun in and keeps your casita from getting too hot, I don't know. I haven't really noticed that, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, also wired this thing up for solar. You have a little door here that you open. You don't have to use the key. You can just plug right in, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's go inside. Step on in. If you're familiar with casitas, nothing too special going on here. There's my uh, suitcase solar panel right there. Um, haven't had to use it much because I don't use much power when I'm dry camping. Just ba basically the, you know, the water pump and the LED bulbs that I installed. So I don't use much power, but it's kind of nice to know that uh, I have that. As you can see, the dinette table isn't there, and I haven't made the bed yet, but um, I just went and bought a 
Amazon mattress and put this here because you know my fiance and I, you know, if we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat right here. And we'd rather just keep this as a bed. It's a lot more comfortable than these foam cushions that were there before. Um, so I think I got that from Amazon for a couple hundred bucks, but I think it was a, a good investment so far. Um, what else? There's the shower. Nothing too special there. Having a shower is really, really nice. I That's why I got a casita mainly is because, um, you know, going mountain biking and um, coming back sweaty and hot. It's just nice to have something to, to clean off with. But yeah, nothing too fancy. I have probably one of the smaller RVs in this whole campground, which is fine by me. But yeah, really cool trailers. You know, the people that have them are obsessed with them. They're almost like a, a little cult of people, a little club which I guess I'm a proud member of, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that's basically it. Um, maybe I'll put some pictures in here of before and after how it looked. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to say is I, I put new decals on. The sun had gotten to the, uh, the decals and they had completely peeled off. But put those on. Um, Um, I think I'm going to put some gloss coat on it maybe at the end of the season or the beginning of the next season just to kind of bring back that factory shine a little bit. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks, guys.